Hello, everybody, and welcome to Leadership Development here at New Horizon Church. I'm Frank, and I will be helping to guide us through some of these devotionals and lead us through uh, what we believe the Lord is speaking on the subjects that we have going on. What we are doing with these trainings, though, is that these are interactive trainings. And so what we are asking you guys to do is to follow along in the books that we are selecting for these seasons, right? And what that means is we'll be reading a book together. We'll be doing a Bible study together and we will be uh, diving into these devotionals and I'll be giving you thoughts according to the scriptures on the book that we are reading. And so for this season, we believe that the Lord was leading us into a hot topic that is very prevalent in uh, our society and our communities around us in our neighborhoods and in our church right and that subject that's overarching is offenses so we thought what better book to grab for this read than to get john bevere's book called the bait of satan in the very first episode, I want to go through chapters one through three with you. And I'm not going to read all of those chapters, of course, but I'm going to give you my thoughts and my devotional on what I think about this. And so what jumped out at me when John Bevere started talking, actually, he said, Luke chapter 17, and you can follow along with me in your Bible. I have my Bible in front of me and I have my notes. So just be ready to kind of write some notes down or follow along with me in the word. These videos won't be very long but I want to pack them with as much information as possible Luke 17 1 says then he said to the disciples it is impossible that no offenses should come but woe to him through whom they do come let's pause there so let me give you a little context of what's happening in the atmosphere around the disciples as they are listening to Jesus and I want to point something out to you that my first observation there's a child in the middle of all of this transaction, this interaction with him and the disciples, right? But the very first thing I actually made an observation on is that then Jesus said to his disciples, meaning he wasn't talking directly to them or at them, but now he's directing all this word to him, meaning that he actually is speaking to the church. He's speaking to you and me. He's speaking to the leaders of the first century church. And so that to me is a big deal. And so that's the very first thing that I paid attention to is that he's not talking outside of the world. He's not talking outside of the four walls of the church. He's talking to the disciples, the, the ones who will be the foundation of the first century church. And so I wanted to point that out first to us is that this is for you and I. And then he says in that same verse, it is impossible impossible that no offenses should come but woe to him through whom they do come the second word that jumped out at me was impossible because i've always been taught that there is no impossibility with the lord right and i know that that's the truth that is the truth there's zero things impossible with god right but this is the only time in all the nine times in the whole bible that it is mentioned right that the word impossible is mentioned he says that word as a promise of something that is going to happen and so you can be sure that offenses are coming that's basically what he's telling his disciples now it says also the next very next words to that is that no offenses should come so of course john bevere tells us what offenses means he actually defined it for us so that way you can know that the title of his book is wrapped around this big theme of offense in the strong's concordance scandalon the movable stick or trigger of a trap a trap stick a snare so what jumped out at me when i went to go read it in the strong's also because i do like to go and and read up on these type of things. He says, in the second definition, any person or thing by which one is entrapped, and that's in big parentheses, drawn into error or sin. See, so by the time you jump into an offense, you are entrapped, meaning there is no going forward beyond this trap. There is no getting out of this trap. You are being drawn into error or sin and so this is why the second verse of this is so important to note because he says it would be better for him 
if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea, then he should offend one of these little ones. Now remember, there's a child in the middle of this whole interaction. And he's talking about woe to him to whom they do come. Um, there's a responsibility for how we carry offenses, what we do with offenses, what we spread to others as far as offenses go. And so what he's saying is, do not entrap or draw into error or sin one of these little ones. Now, the rabbi is saying, you are not only responsible for what you hear, but what you do with what you hear. Because we're to be the example, not just for those that we lead. We're supposed to be an example for also the next generation of believers and for those that are around us in our communities. So I'm gonna leave you with these three leadership points. One, offenses will come. It's a promise. There is no bewilderment there. They're coming. Two, they can and will come from within the four walls of the church, even from leaders, and they can come from your family and those that you love or who love you. And three, we as leaders are responsible for what we hear as far as offenses go and what we get to do with those offenses knowing that we are responsible to those we lead and the next generation. So our victory can become their victory too, or there is no need for them to also be entrapped and ensnared along with the offenses that we carry. So I just wanted to leave you guys with those encouragements. Um, there's a lot to do about offenses and there's a lot more to talk about. I'm sure the book has been great. And so I thank you for joining me on this very first episode. We will be going over more here soon. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Thank you for joining me on leadership training here at New Horizon Church.